worked on with the committee for quite some time to get this wording exactly the way they thought it would be best received by the public, giving a little history of each of the, the dozen conflicts since the end of World War II that our nation's been involved in. And of course, on each side are the names of the honored fallen uh, from these conflicts. So uh, again, this took a great deal of time to work out and get the proper wording to get the message across, which allows uh, uh, the younger generations to get an idea of what our nation's been involved in and, and uh, the many Purians that, that were a part of that. Could um, you please talk talk to me about why there was a need to add this final um, well as you know we have the soldiers and sailors monument uh, honoring veterans from the 19th century the World War one and two memorial we completed about 12 years ago honoring the over 26,000 Peoria County citizens that served in World War one and two and this uh, is, is the final step for us. That's why we call it the final salute. This honors all veterans since World War II and into the future. It's designed, sadly enough, uh, if the need be, designed to add more names. Uh, if we get into future conflicts and future casualties, but this is to honor the service of, of those individuals and we wanted to do something special uh, to honor their service as it was just as important as anyone that fought in World War I or, in, or World War II.